Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new video. Now, today I will be carrying on the monthly uh, character updates. Now, I know I didn't do one last month. December was very, very busy, so I didn't have time to actually sit down and get this video done. Um, so, a lot has changed since in the last two months. Obviously, we now have Dragonflight that came out this season. Uh, this season? Um last month and um so there's been a lot of changes um obviously also with the pre-patch um of dragonfly it was really easy to level so i've been doing a lot of leveling and obviously been playing dragonfly and it's been really fun however uh, we have now got an update on the new uh, on my uh, my account and here it is. Uh, as you can see, I have a character on Drenor. Um, I actually started yesterday called Bear Dot. Um, so Bear Dot is a priest. Uh, we got to level 12 yesterday. Um, I've been leveling her on stream. If you don't know, I stream here on YouTube. And I also stream on Twitch because I multi-stream. Um, so make sure to go check my twitch out and also um if you're new around here make sure to subscribe so you know when i go live um so yeah we got a level 12 priest just a casual leveling um i did say that on stream that i'm not going to be on her all the time um just times where you know mythic pluses are stressful or there's not really much to do at level 70 but obviously with um with Dragonfly being out, there's a lot to do, like Reputation Grounds, um, Mythic Plus Keys, um, PvP, so on and so forth. You know, the usual endgame stuff. So yeah, uh, we leveled her to 12, and um, maybe, maybe, we'll get her to level 70 soon. Uh, and also, one other thing is, I'm not actually leveling her with Heirloom. Um, it's been a while since I've leveled a character without Heirloom. So, um, yeah, we got her to level 12, and that's on Drenor. Uh, Steam Wheel Cartel, nothing's changed really. Um, we've just got the usual Grub Smash 45, Kraken Oreo 45, Peaches, Sidario 45, Zarfenra 45, Stabasaurus 40, and Corpus 41. In a way, Steam Wheel Cartel has kind of became my, uh, uh, best way to put it is my museum of characters in a way um, they're not really being touched um, and they're just sitting here not really doing much <laughs> to be honest um, on Terracol, um I don't think anything's changed since I last played uh, Granhelm is 60 I'm not sure if I and now uh, I'm not sure if that was that's any different to last time. Uh, we do have Lissandria, who is my uh, evoker on Alliance. Uh, she's level sixty. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll make a video on what I think about evokers um, because there's a, there's a few like good, a few bad um, that I have about evokers. But we'll make that into a different video. So uh, we've got Big Zed, who's still level 50. Uh, I, I don't know what happened to his transmog. I have no idea what happened to his transmog. But yeah, he's level 50 now. All oh, right, yeah, I leveled him. Uh, McBoom Chubbs is level 50, as you can see. He's got his heritage set. Uh, my Gnome Warrior, he's now level 50. So I can start farming the reputation for gnomes and uh, get his heritage set. Uh, we have a Lightforge Draenei, level 27. Um, all of these are, were leveled through pre-patch. Uh, we got Kaseya, who hasn't been touched, and Grubyorn, who um, who I have le leveled a little bit, but didn't, you know, do a lot on. Level 5. Um, on Shatar, I don't think I've really done much. Uh, we've got Zafia, Belen, Sarlacc, 
all uh, level 45. Blissey, she was mainly mead, really. Um, I actually didn't talk, talk about this on the last video. Uh, so, Blissey was mainly mead for... Um, for the Tauren Heritage set. However, um, I never actually got around to doing it. And uh, that's the only reason she was made. I'm about level her to 70. Um, with playing uh, the uh, Bear Dot, um, I've been really enjoying Priests, well, leveling wise anyway. Um, so I might start leveling her again. Uh, we got Valkyr. Who again has been touched? My de uh, demon hunter. Demon hunters. Uh, I'm a little iffy when it comes to demon hunters. Um, like they're fun and then they're not, and then they're fun and then they're not. So it's very difficult to try and level a demon hunter. Uh, we've got Valkyrie, who again has not been touched. Uh, Berums again not been touched, and Macho Man, who also has not been touched. Uh, no, nothing to do uh, like new one shatar. Um, now burning steps. This is the changes. This is the changes because I've been leveling a lot. So like I brought up at the start of the video, um, we had the dragonfly pre patch, which was really, really, really good for leveling because of. One, the uh, elemental invasion of and and two, um, we also had a XP buff, and that was like, um, that was just insane to level through. So I did a lot of leveling. Um, Selly and Bear Tank didn't really get touched, however. We have Sneaky Beef, he's now level 31, uh, I would love to get to level 70. I have a, uh, a uh, an idea with Sneaky Beef, which is I want to get him an iconic, well not really an iconic transmog because it's used by a lot of rogues, um, which is the tier... I think it's tier 6 or tier 5 um, there's a certain set I think it's from Black Temple so I'm gonna guess tier 6 that is really really cool a transmog and also there's some shoulders some unique shoulders that drop in Black Temple and also we've got the blindfold as well that look would look really cool with also the blades of Azadoth. Azadoth? Is it Azeroth or is it Azeroth? I think it's Azeroth. So I need to farm them. And I also need to farm the transmog. Uh, hence the reason why he is outlaw. It is the only reason he's outlaw. Because also I'm not a big fan of assassination or subtlety. To be totally honest. Um, but yeah, I've been having a lot of fun on him. Uh, Berums is now up to a level, f level 44. I don't know what level he was when I last shown you guys uh, but I know I've leveled him a few times since the last video uh, as you can see he's in a full set of tier 10 with the belt for our, uh, that is crafting um, the back piece that is a cataclysm quest and also one skin of the blood decay uh, uh, what, what were they called? Uh, I can't remember what they were called. But yeah, he's got that as well. Which looks amazing on a Tauren, by the way. I've got to... got to say. Uh, the biggest um, project that I did was I actually got a mage, a Tauren mage to level 60 before Dragonflight. And um, actually got him fully geared in the pre-patch um, Dragonflight pre-patch armor set. Which, um, apologies about <coughs> me, uh, I got a bit of a bunged up nose. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that I got him to level 60. And the day that I actually start leveling him. <clears throat> which this week would actually be the perfect week to start leveling alt. Because of Warlord's Adrenal um, time walking. The uh, time walking is actually very, very undertuned at the minute. So everything is really, really... Uh, like all the dungeons are really fast to just zoom through and get a bunch of xp um my friend um who didn't have much time to level his invoker he asked me if he could if i could level his invoker and i went from 68 to 70 within an hour uh that's mental that's actually mental and um so yeah uh at the minute, if, if you um, have any alts to level, get them to 50. And instead of doing the boring, boring Dragonfly quest chain, unless you enjoy it. But I'm I, personally, I did not enjoy the Dragonfly uh, quest chain. Start leveling WAD in the WAD uh, time walk-in. Because at the minute, it's just insane XP. Um, we've got Bear Monk, obviously... Uh, which was my boosted fluffles again not really been touched um i would love to start leveling my shaman but i am thinking about changing him to enhancement because at the minute enhancement shamans are really really good and also they look really really fun uh we got dragon bear z i know it's 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 a very cringy name but when it popped in my head Dragon Bear Z I was like yes that is going to be my invoker's name he's level 60 I haven't touched him yet um, but I will start leveling him soon um, we've got Siona who has not been touched um, however she will be going Beastmaster and there's a reason for it um, I found a a uh, uh, a uh, a mob uh, that is very very unique and if it is tameable because I still have no idea if it is or not I want my hunter to um, to actually have that as a pet and have it twice it would look so cool it would look so so cool and the day that I actually show you guys on uh, when we do these character updates because I'm going to be doing this every month um, like I said that, uh, in the first video I'll, I'm going to do these every single month and um, you will see the development of my uh, of my account hopefully uh, we'll start seeing all of these level 70 start to gear up um and yeah and maybe even some alts on some different <laughs> some different servers um maybe i get bored and want to experiment or something maybe even an iron man challenge who knows um then we got my druid barums uh he is level 62 um i'm leveling him on and off at the minute because um i was kind of stupid and instead of just picking world quests uh, like bonus objectives world quests and dungeons i picked questing and that was dumb of me that was really really dumb of me and this week it will be a great idea to level him to 70 just ignore ignore the story and just get on with it um because i would love for my druid to be level 70 and start gearing and my main project in Dragonflight so far, which has been the original Barums. Uh, he's level 70. Uh, he is item level... S uh, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. Takes a while to load. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. it's taking a while <laughs> there we go uh, wait for it to actually load before even trying anything so uh, 
Okay, I need to find a place where nobody's going to spawn in. There we go. Let's go over here. So, we've got, we've got Mr. Verums here, who is currently 385, item level 385. Um, the best thing I would have to say, uh, my best item so far, is got to be my Elgathar Hedge Cleaver. It is Rep Pally's best in slot at the minute. Um, I'm hoping to cap this out by probably the end of the month uh, with Valor. Um, hopefully I can get my um, my uh, Mythic Plus score up, which I'll bring up in a minute. Uh, we got my 411 Spiteful Storm. Um, it's it, it's not a great trinket for paladins, but it will do for the time being. Also, I got my Horn of Valor, which is again another best in slot. Uh, we got my Assembly. Uh, uh, I nearly said Scholar. It's Scholar Loop, um, which is really really good for it, as soon as you hit level 70. This is a great ring to get. Um, we got my 395 boots from Hall of Halls of Valor. Oh, no, sorry, it's from Quarter Stars. Um, and we also got my first tier piece, my first tier shoulders. Um, I got them in the vault, which was absolutely awesome. It was between them or upgrading my helmet, but my shoulders were 375. Have I sold them? No, they're there. Oh, no, they were 382. It was my lowest item level uh, after the three choices I had, so I got my shoulders. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the week, I'll have my two set. Um, and hopefully... I will be um, nearly 390. That'd be awesome. And also, I finally, finally upgraded my neck piece. Even though, actually, stat wise, <laughs> stat wise, that is much better. Uh, there you go. Lose crit. Uh, uh, if if I stick that on, I lose crit. I lose haste. I lose mastery. So I've got to keep that on. I've got to keep this on because this is actually really really good. I just I need to find an upgrade for this. <laughs> um, so that narrows me down to three eight four for my key. Uh, my key score. Uh, key score at the minute. I'm only nine seventy. I still have not done a ruby life pause. Because I've heard it's absolute hell to try and do, especially this week. Um, highest I've got is an 11 Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. Because this is such an easy dungeon to do, even though I keep dying. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> um, temple, I've actually done it on both weeks. I got a 6 done in Fortified, 10 on Tyrannical. Uh, Quarter Stars, we also uh, I've also done on Fortified and Tyrannical. Uh, we got a plus two done on fortified and then 11 on tyrannical but it wasn't in time um a 10 45 Algatha academy a seven horse of Allah. i'm hoping to get one done this week um maybe maybe uh and a, a eight uh not cut offensive but it was over time because that was a poor 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 run um, we got a two as a vault. Uh, I know uh, we haven't really done a proper as a vault in a while. Um, and I need to get a ruby life pause done this week, which I do have a key for. But um, speaking to <laughs> speaking to my friend, he's he's not a big fan on ruby life pools or his key, which is a. I think it's an Azo Vault. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why they're so low, is because me and my friends just, just don't like these keys whatsoever. So, the plan is to get all of these done. These ones here. Not not Cod, but like Halls of Allah, Agatha Academy, Court of Stars, Temple, and Shadow Moon Valley, up to about 15, so we can start gearing up. And then 
as soon as we need the uh, mythic rating, we'll do these three and try and get a 15 done for all three of them. That's the plan. Um, but other than that, I don't really have much uh, to show uh, because I haven't done really any 2v2s or 3v3s at the minute. Um, like I told you, my friend has only just got his invoker to 70, like me getting it to 70. So hopefully he'll gear up and we can start doing some twos. Um, then, uh, funny enough, my friend just asked me if I were to do some threes, so I may be doing some threes later on today. Um, if not, we may be doing some twos uh, later on today. Uh, and maybe even some keys later. So, yeah. Uh, that is all of my characters. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you are going to be enjoying these character updates and can't wait for more. Uh, I'm actually really excited to be starting to do this because it will give me more of an intention to, or more of a reason, to actually start leveling some alts, start gearing up more, start doing more on World of Warcraft because I won't lie, I get to a content barrier where I just, just don't want to play WoW anymore. Um, but this will give me more of a reason to. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. We are six subscribers away from 200 and I'm, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing for Dragonfly. I'm actually really enjoying it and um, I'm buzzing to see what 2023 um, has in store for me. Also, if I haven't already said it, Happy New Year. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.